Yo, 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 what is up, Halo community? So I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and today is that day of the week where we check out the weekly shop and the ultimate reward. But before we jump into that, if you guys can hit that sub and like button as we're almost at 800 subs. Hopefully we can make it to 1k. If you guys could do me a solid, help me out there. Uh, but yeah, let's get right to the shop now. Alrighty, so here we are at the shop, and I mean, I don't know what to what else to say guys i mean it's just constant repeats uh we do have a few new bundles here which is nice but uh yeah let's just kind of start out with the first one here so we got march of war which costs 500 credits now i actually really dig this armor effect i think it looks really cool uh it's kind of hard to see for some reason it doesn't like zoom in i don't know why <laughs> but uh yeah it's, it looks like you just got like magma on your or like lava or something <laughs> on your feet i don't know that's the best way I can describe it. Although it does cost 500 credits, I don't really agree with that price. I think it should be at the very least. I mean, it's only like one item. It should be like 200 or 100 credits, but I don't know, man. I mean, moving on to the next bundle, we got Liberty Clad. Now, this one is actually a repeat. Um, and this was out, this one came out during the 4th of July, which was pretty funny, which makes sense because, you know, red, white, and blue. But, uh, yeah, you get the armor coating for the Eagle Strike Core, and you get Rocket Hog, you get the Razorback, you get the Warthog, and that's it. Wow, okay. And it's only for 700 credits. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is pretty disappointing for a bundle. <laughs> so you only get, like, four items for 700 credits. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's alright, but, uh, I mean, I just want to see something new, man. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing so many repeats. Moving on to the next bundle, we got Frontier Outrider. Now, this one is also, I believe, a repeat. Uh, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is a repeat. Uh, if not, I mean, this coating does look really cool. I actually really dig this armor coating here. Uh, but other than that, yeah, you just get an armor coating, and some emblems <laughs> and a nameplate for 300 credits uh i don't know i don't know what to say about this one i mean i guess it's all right but it's not something i would pay 300 credits for uh but yeah i guess it's all right so moving on to the last bundle we got grim fortress which is probably the only good one in the shop today uh in my opinion anyways and yeah it's a pretty cool coating so it's just a silver kind of chromish coating uh, you get it on the Eagle Strike Core, and you get it on your AR uh, for 600 credits. It's it's really cool coatings, but 600 credits is definitely overpriced just for two items, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not going to pay for that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm also curious what they're going to do with the uh, the silver BR, because I'm pretty sure they, have this, they do have the silver BR. I've seen leaks of that one, and I'm sure they're probably, they probably have it for, like, the Magnum. The commando and various other weapons and stuff um i was thinking those might be future twitch drops i did make a video about that if you guys didn't check it out yet um but it seems like the eagle strike one and the ar are a bundle that you can buy so i don't know we'll see what happens but uh yeah this is a pretty cool bundle it's just definitely overpriced Alrighty, so that's all we got for this weekly shop uh pretty disappointing overall man i mean these shops have just been They've just been going down here. Like, I'm just going to be completely honest. I mean, there's just nothing I would... It's just constant repeats and a few new bundles. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's stuff that I won't pay for. You know, they keep, like, showing me stuff that I don't want to pay for. So, it's like, how do you expect me to spend money <laughs> on this game? If they just show me bundles that I already said I don't want. Um, so, I don't know, man. So on to the ultimate reward of this week. We got the Kowlin Strand. Uh, it's a Mark 7 armor coating. And um, it, yeah, it looks like a yellow and whitish kind of coating. Unless I'm completely colorblind and that's orange. But yeah, it looks kind of like a yellowish orange armor coating with some white on it. Uh, I mean, it's pretty basic. I don't know. <laughs> and in order to get this uh, armor coating, all you got to do is win one land grab match, which is not too bad. And yeah, that's how you get this armor coating. Shout out to Delta Index once again for leaking the ultimate award. But uh, yeah, not something I'm going to grind for, to be completely honest. It's just pretty boring. Uh, and I really don't want to go through the land grab challenges, I'm going to be honest. Because Entrenched is going to return uh, this week. And 
I'm gonna be honest, man. I've had enough of land grab. <laughs> We've had it for like this is the fourth time or third time. I don't even know anymore. Like Jesus, man. At the very least, they could like try to change it up. I don't know, man. Give us a few new maps, man. I, I don't. Why can't we just get something different? <laughs> why do we have to get six weeks of the same exact mode? Like why? <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? I don't get it. Anyways, guys, with that being said, that wraps up this weekly shopping ultimate reward update. Uh, let me know, was it worth? is it worth your time grinding for that ultimate? Is it worth your money? <laughs> is the weekly shop worth your money? Is there anything there that catches your eye? Uh, yeah, just let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.